I'm Matt Bichar with NareetsReit.com here in Phoenix, Arizona for ReitWise 2015, NareetsReit's Law, Accounting, and Finance Conference. Joining me today is Kate Cordes, Senior Vice President with General Growth Properties. Kate, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Now, here at ReitWise, you moderated a panel looking at partnership tax issues encountered by REITs. What is the most prevalent issue that REITs face with joint ventures? Well, I think in a, uh, when we want to recycle capital, retention of that capital is you know, kind of critical. And so in our panel, we sort of discussed disguised sales, which can be a beneficial technique um, to get around that, and um, some uh, beneficial elections that happen with partnership mergers. And how about when it comes to uprate transactions? What are the challenges there? Well, again, you know, if you look at it from the uh, people who are contributing property into the upreit, they sort of have a, a similar type strategy. They want to access cash, but they want to do it in a really tax efficient manner. And so sort of some of those rules can help or hinder them if, if they are not properly advised. Great. And do REITs that are involved with funds face any particular challenges? Sure. One of the things that we discussed in our panel was um, sort of the preferred interests and the economics that go along with the funds. And that really generally becomes very critical because uh, the funds may have a carry or there may be very uh, detailed economic arrangements that can potentially be impacted by how they're drafted. Kate, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.